The urinary system includes two kidneys which filter the blood and excrete the waste via the urine. There are two ureters, one draining each kidney that brings the urine to the bladder. The bladder holds the urine until it is voided from the body through the urethra. The kidney plays a significant role in maintaining blood pressure, preventing pressure from going too low and maintaining blood volume. Electrolyte concentrations are regulated by increasing retention or elimination of particular solutes. Maintenance of pH is a function of the kidney with proton removal as needed. Other wastes and byproducts are eliminated via the kidneys. The activation of vitamin D occurs in the kidney which plays a role in calcium homeostasis. Adequate oxygenation of the circulating blood is also a function of the kidney which can increase red blood cell production from the bone marrow as ambient oxygen levels decline such as occurs at altitude. The kidneys are located near the lowest rib behind the peritoneum that the intestines are in, so they are considered to be retroperitoneal. The top of the kidney is around where the twelfth rib comes. Around the bottom of the kidneys is about the level of your waist. The right kidney sits a little lower due to the space occupied by the liver. The adrenal glands sit on top of the kidney and both are contained within the renal capsule. The kidney is shaped so that it arcs medially and within that arc is the hilum where the renal artery enters, renal vein exits, and the ureter and renal nerves are found. The internal structures of the kidney begin with the outer layer called the renal cortex. The renal cortex is where the blood is separated and the solutes first enter the tubules. The next layer is the renal medulla. This layer is distinctive because of the medullary or renal pyramids. The medullary pyramids are dark red and have a line texture like corduroy. Between the medullary pyramids is tissue that appears similar to the cortex. These regions are the renal columns. At the base of each pyramid, called the renal papilla, urine drips into a collecting region called the minor calyx. The minor calyces converge into major calyces, which drain the urine into the funnel-shaped renal pelvis before sending it out of the kidney and to the ureter. The blood supply inside the kidneys begin with the renal artery, then segmental artery, and lober artery. The interlober arteries are along the renal columns going to the arcuate arteries above the medullary pyramids. The interlobular arteries are in the renal cortex bringing blood to the millions of tiny capillary offshoots to the filtering units of the nephrons. After the blood has been filtered, it comes back via the interlobular vein in the renal cortex and down to the arcuate vein. The interlobar veins come down between the medullary pyramids to serve the lobar veins, then segmental veins, and finally the renal vein leaving the kidney. Note that some textbooks do not mention lobar or segmental veins. The nephron is where all the filtering of the kidney occurs. Blood feeds into the nephron off the interlobular artery by an afferent arteriole. This goes to a specialized capillary bed called the glomerulus where the blood is filtered. The whole nephron is partially in the renal cortex and partially in the medullary pyramids. The key to understanding how the kidney works is to understand the nephron.